Hi everyone, my name is Mona. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video, we are going to be talking about Edie Sedgwick and three of her favorite fragrances that she adored and loved. Um, Edie Sedgwick was an enchanting, beautiful young lady that passed away too soon. Um, and she was the it girl of the 1960s, or the I would say the mid 1960s, 65. She came into New York and became very popular and famous because of Andy Warhol and her connection to him. But she came from a very aristocrat family, the Sedgwicks. Um, but she was, I would say, the quintessential poor little rich girl. Um, she didn't have it easy. Unfortunately, um, she suffered from abuse from a very early age from her father and her mother, and she was in and out of um, cuckoo homes. So she really didn't have it easy, but she just um, came through this world and came by like a, you know, like a flying comet. In my opinion, she had this gamine, um, pale look about her. Um, she was very um, unusual and beautiful and striking and became probably the biggest Andy Warhol superstar or the most popular one. The one that got, gets more, um, you know, books written about and is always talked about. And um, I want to talk about three perfumes that she really, really loved. And the first one we're going to talk about is the old, goes back from the oldest to the most modern releases. And this was released in 1944 and it is Femme by the House of Rocha. This is a beautiful Chypre. Um, fragrance. It's often compared to Mitsuku by Guerlain. I think it's better. It's spicier. It's sexier. It's um, definitely more rounded and richer to me. It's warm where Mitsuku I find as like a cold fragrance even though it has that peach and stuff. It's still more of an icy fragrance. But this is so beautiful. Um, so feminine and it really smells like a woman's skin to me. It has that like pheromone smell and I noticed the fragrance that, she, that the kind of fragrances that she wore and loved were very like animalic florals um, and this fragrance even though it's not a floral it's a sheep red classified as sheep red um, it's it's a very bassy fragrance. Like you get more of the bass notes when you smell this. I will read you the notes just so you can get a little bit more of a feel of Femme by Rocha. The note, the top notes are peach, plum, and lemon. The hard notes we have jasmine, rose, and rosewood. And at the base, we have patchouli, musk, amber, civet, leather, oak moss, and sandalwood. And as you can see, there's more base notes in this fragrance than there is um, top and hard notes combined. So it's sexy, it's sensual. Um, I've been wearing this for many years. I really love this in the fall the most, but um, of course I wear it all year round when I get the feeling or I'm in the mood. It's a sexy, uh, feminine, provocative, fragrance in my opinion and that is Femme by the House of Rocha. The second fragrance, um, they talk about this on the internet if you google what fragrance she favored. They mention this one but not the two other two. Um, the second one was released in 1948 by Robert Piquet and it's a very popular white floral fragrance and that is of course Fracas by Robert Piquet. This is a beautiful, creamy, um, juicy, white 
floral fragrance that has a little bit of a sensual animalic uh, feel to it. Um, not a little bit, a lot um, actually when it dies down. But she really favored Fracas. This has also been worn by many, many other celebrities. Um, it was the first perfume ever gifted to me and I love this perfume but I usually wear it now or I reserve it for the spring and the summertime but that is Fracas by Robert Piquet and now the third fragrance I'm going to talk about is one of my hidden gems when it comes to vintage fragrance it's never been talked about here on YouTube and it's I mean, people that collect vintage, vintage really know about this, but most people don't talk about this fragrance, and it's definitely one of my um, most animalic, sexy, um, just sexy, raw fragrances in my perfume wardrobe that I own. I mean, and most complimented as well. I've gotten so many compliments for this perfume, um, especially by men. And it was the fragrance that I actually met my current boyfriend wearing. Um, and it is Intimate by Revlon. Edie Sedgwick loved drugstore makeup and Revlon is and was sold in the drugstores in the 50s and 60s. This was released in 1955 by the House of Revlon. Um, it's completely animalic in my opinion. I wouldn't call this floral. I wouldn't call this anything but an animalic perfume. This is a 16 ounce bottle of um, <clears throat> Eau de Toilette. My biggest bottle probably I own and I discovered this a couple years ago and I've been wearing it since. It's beautiful, it's sexy, but it's sexy in a very 1950s kitsch kind of way. It's sexy with a smile and a wink, if you know what I mean. And I will read you the notes and you will see why this is such an animalic perfume. The top notes are aldehydes, bergamot, rose, gardenia, and coriander. The heart notes are jasmine, orris, patchouli, sandalwood, and cedarwood. And at the base, doo -doo 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 -doo, ba -boom, we have amber, castorium, civet, oak moss, and musk. That's one, two, three, four animalic notes in this fragrance. Even though it sounds a very like like a like a very um, butch perfume because of those strong base notes, it's not. It's so soft. It's very very smooth and um, feminine and sexy in my opinion. Um, this is nothing to be played with. It's so just overtly sexual in my opinion. When you smell this, you will definitely say like, what am I smelling? What is that? It's that unique, that unusual. And that um, 1950s kind of thing. Like it has that 50s vibe as well, which I love. And Edie Sedgwick loved Intimate by Revlon as well. And I saw this on her vanity, a picture of this bottle on her, not this one, the smaller one. I purchased this on eBay, so you can still purchase um, Intimate by Revlon. I think another company uh, makes it now, which I ordered and tested. It has no resemblance to the vintage. So if you do purchase Intimate, make sure it's vintage. Um, it's very important if you want to get the real deal. So um, those are the three fragrances. And I also read that she used this very, very, it's so hard to find now, 
perfu um, perf perfume called In Love by Heart Now. I think that was a 1940s fragrance as well. But I've never s smelled that or um, been able to purchase it because it's almost like impossible, even on M eBay. So, but these other three I love and adore as well. Edie Sedgwick was a shooting star, um, and unfortunately, she burned too soon. But like most shooting stars, she's unforgettable. And I dedicate this video to all of her fans and Edie Sedgwick herself. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.